This video will demonstrate how to set a field read-only in IBM's Maximo. For this, I will be using the RM App Developer Perspective and TRM's Rules Manager Studio. I am using this tool because it will vastly simplify this process in Maximo. To create a read-only rule, I will open the WOTRAC App Editor by right-clicking the WOTRAC application in the App Explorer on the left and selecting the Edit option. The WOTRAC editor will then open. I will then find the field I would like to configure. In this case, failure class. Right clicking, I will select the new field rule, read only option. This creates a read only event on this field and opens the editor for the event. Without a condition, and by default, this field is now always read-only. I can now add a condition to make this event conditional. This condition is created using a simple script. The script editor page of my event will provide me with Content Assist. Content Assist guides me as I create my condition. It will tell me what fields and other variables I can access. Furthermore, it will validate my script to ensure I did not make any typos. I will tell my server it has new configurations and then verify my configuration is working. Navigating through my work order tracking application, I can see by default that the failure code is read only. Adding a work type will then make the failure class field editable. See our other tutorials on how you can create a walkthrough of this configuration for training or to verify it each time you update your system.